update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We're 90 minutes into the trading day, and we got markets in negative territory. Markets bouncing around with a little bit of two-way action, but all the markets in the red. S&P's off by 18 right now. NASDAQ 100, you're off by 47. We got the Dow off by 194, and you got the Russell off by 12. To cap that again, the S&P's off about four tenths percent, five tenths percent almost. NASDAQ 100. A little bit less than that, four tenths percent. You get the Dow off six tenths percent, and you got the Russell off seven tenths percent. Our man Basil Chapman's been talking about it. He's dead on. That's what's happening, folks. NASDAQ 100, the strongest index relative to the other indices. S&P 500, probably in the next. The Dow, the weakest, and the Russell, the weakest beyond that. And we got some bank problems. So anytime we got some bank problems, that relationship is going to persist until we are sure we're out of the banking problems. And here's the kicker. You're not, we're not going to be sure we're out of the banking problems, folks, until rates come way back down, erasing all the paper losses that the banks potentially have on their books from buying fixed income with longer durations at generational low yields. Okay, So this is going to stay for a little while, and they're going to be dealing with it. doesn't mean we're going to have banks failing left and right, but the pressure on the banks is going to be a problem for the Fed as we go forward, and that's putting a little volatility in the market, to put it lightly. Yeah. Crude. Backing off from where we were, man, you go up to $71 and change yesterday, you just hit 66 and change. You hit 69 after that. We're trading at 68.12 right now in crude. Gold backing off from above 2000 to 1998. Got to take a look at notes and bonds. If you were watching the last couple hours, man, early in the morning, you run up to 117. But just looking at where this thing was from when I came on the air at 9, 10, 9 o'clock in the morning, you were almost trading at 117. You got up to 116.30. And by the time it hit 10 o'clock, we almost had a 115 handle. You traded down 26 ticks just in the span of the hour that I was on from 9 till 10. We're chopping around since then over the last hour from 10 till 11. And you got yields now at 3.35%. 3.35%, the yield on the 10-year. We jump over to the dollar index. Dollar index right now, 103.18. And I talked about the VIX because we got the VIX at 24. And yeah, the VIX at 24 Pricing in a 1.5% move every one out of three days. If you've been watching the market, man, we're getting more than that, to put it lightly. It's going to be an interesting Friday, folks. Stay tuned. Steve Rhodes coming up right now. Live programming all day after that. Have a great Friday, folks. Have a great weekend. We'll look forward. I look forward to seeing you back Monday, but stay tuned for Steve. Stay tuned for Fast Market, Larry Pesavento, and my dad, Tom O'Brien. Have a great Friday, everybody.